Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me. My name is QP and in this video, I'm actually doing a food vlog from a local restaurant that I've been wanting to try for a while now. I've wanted to incorporate more food vlogs into my channel and I've actually tried doing food vlogs in the past. However, I was never able to get the quality of the audio to sound right, especially when I'm in public. So I ended up getting a lavalier that I'm able to plug into my phone and use it as an external audio recorder um, and that's the system that I use in this video unfortunately due to user error and not really knowing how to set the controls the audio that I got for this video was worse than the audio from my camera so I wasn't really able to use it and I actually thought about scrapping this entire video but I'm really trying to work on bettering myself and I feel like if I did not try to get this video up and try to learn from my mistakes and try to learn from this experience um, I wouldn't grow so I just wanted to do this quick intro for you guys and give you a warning that the audio in this video is really not that great um, but please bear with me because I am going to work on it I'm going to do research and try to better my videos and uh, have a much better viewing experience in the future so without any further ado here is my food vlog. Hey guys, so we are here at Kura Revolving Sushi. It's actually the only conveyor belt sushi here in Austin. The Kura is actually an international chain restaurant. I think they started in Japan, but they have over 400 locations throughout the world, including Japan, Taiwan, and the United States. And in the U.S., they are in four states. I think it's California, Texas, Georgia, and Illinois. So um, I've never had conveyor belt sushi before, but I'm really excited to try it out. So everything on the conveyor belt is actually $2.75, and then um, you can also order food up here and the price is up here on the screen. We got some toro and some scallops with mayo on top. Or I just got some tuna with jalapeno on it. So they also give you wasabi um, and ginger in these little containers. Okay, I'm gonna try the toro. It tastes a lot better than I thought. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot better than I thought. Very, very fatty. And the rice is actually seasoned really well. Rice is good. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what makes or breaks a sushi spot, spot is the rice and how well it's seasoned. And now the scallop. Also, there is a slot down here that you're supposed to put your plate. And there is a plate counter right here. And if you get 15 plates, you get a prize from up there. Uh, really? Yes, there are so many options here. Okay, so this is the Niki Toro, which is pretty much the scallop Toro. And now here comes the beer tin. Unless you want to grab it. I can grab it. Okay. All of my spoon and you fell out on that one, so I'm just gonna eat it. But you all fell out. Almost all. <laughs> Uni's gifts, not the best I've had. It's so, um, not as creamy. Okay, so every five plates, um, kind of this action cartoon comes on to kind of encourage you to eat more to get to 15. And once you get to 15, you get like a prize. So it's like very, very kind of like a fun atmosphere and fun experience. We're gonna get some hot food and try the Japanese okay? And here is the Japanese. 
Japanese poke bowl. It looks like there's salmon, tuna, and this is shrimp over some avocado. Is it not crab? I thought it was like crab mix. I think it's shrimp. Maybe there is some crab in there too. I think there's crab in there also. It's really good. It's really like soft, really tender. So this one is a tuna with I guess ponzu sauce on it. Yeah, that sounds right. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm pulling up rice here. This is the spicy garlic popcorn shrimp bowl. Looks like it is shrimp, avocado, mayo in the bowl, and then there's a fried shrimp on top with some of the seasoning. Good, man. This is my first time here. There's so many things. Yes, they're absolutely awesome. Mm. That's really good because the shrimp is really crunchy, and then the inside of the bowl is actually really creamy from the avocado in a shrimp and then the topping has like a little bit of a spiciness to it so yeah it's actually pretty pleasantly surprised kind of have to be patient for this because this gets fired really slowly and right now it's kind of like a it's like pretty early for dinner and so there aren't too many people here i'm guessing that's the reason why these aren't like full um so we've pretty much been ordering a lot of stuff from the menu just because there has been too many items going by here I'm getting full though, and I'm trying to make it to 15 plates. We're only at seven right now. I, I don't know. Third comes our chicken. Here is the fried chicken. It's kind of like a chicken karate, um, and it comes with some mayo and uh, lemon. I dip that in some of that mayo or whatever dressing that is. That's really good. Seasoned really well. And this is not just mayo. It's some kind of aioli with like lemon in it. Not bad. I'm actually getting really full, so I might be slowing down here a little bit. Don't think I'm gonna make it to the pitching place because we're both getting full. Um, I think this Japanese Poke Bowl kind of filled us up a little bit. We did have a lot of the um, like the bigger plates, so they don't fit in that spot, which kind of sucks because it's like I want to get to that 15 plate because I want to see, like, I want to see what you got. So I couldn't wait for dessert because this Warabi Moki kept going by and it just looks really interesting. Um, so I grabbed it. Looks like it's some type of like tapioca or like mochi style jello on the bottom, and then it has this like brown flower or something on top. It's like just <coughs> super jiggly. Let's give us a try. That's super interesting. So the powder, I want to say, is like some sort of almost reminds me of like a peanut butter, but less, uh, but a lot more mild. And then the mochi tastes very similarly to like just a really bouncy Jello. Slightly sweet. It's not my favorite dessert, but it's um, very interesting. I don't even know how to describe it because it's like the mochi or the jello part of it. it almost tastes like a sweet water that like just melts in your mouth um, and then you get a little bit of the crunchiness from the powder on top as well. Now we find out what you want to Okay, so this is the Hokkaido milk creamy tart. Um, it has like this crust on it and it looks like some type of custard in the middle with some sort of um, sugar on top. Let's give it a try. Mm, tastes like flan almost, but then it's like a mixture between flan, creme brulee, and then like a cookie underneath it. It's really good though. Definitely like that better than this. Um, this was nice to try, but I'll have to order it again. Okay, so this is the cream and mitsu. Um, so it looks like just vanilla ice cream with some bean paste, mochi, almost kind of reminds me of like a boba, like a big boba bubble, and then a strawberry. Get some of this red bean paste, some mochi. Mm. As you get the cold and creaminess from the ice cream, the mochi is really 
really chewy. Um, and then you also have this kind of like a almost slightly creaminess from the green bean paste or the red bean paste. And then I didn't have the strawberry with it. There's some sort of syrup on top of the ice cream as well. Overall, I really like it. Okay, so these are the Japanese donuts. Looks like some sort of fried bread with ice cream and then ice syrup on top of it. So I'm gonna use my hands for this. Just gonna dip this into the ice cream. So that bread is like really mild tasting, but it's like really warm and crispy. And then with the cold, soft ice cream, it's like a really nice combination. Anyway guys, I think we are going to call it quits for her today. I'll update you guys in the car. It's kind of getting really loud here. It's getting close to prime dinner time. All right guys, well we just got done eating at Kura Revolving Sushi and uh, it was actually a pretty fun experience. Um, it was definitely a different experience because I've never had conveyor belt sushi before. I was actually really impressed by the quality of the sushi. I was kind of nervous that it would be kind of like supermarket quality sushi, but it definitely wasn't. Uh, the fish actually melts in your mouth and it tasted really fresh, nothing fishy or anything at all. Um, I was actually really impressed with the rice. For me, I feel like a good sushi spot is like 66% fresh fish and 33% uh, rice. Um, that rice has to be seasoned like perfectly. Uh, there's a bunch of ingredients that you're supposed to put in it to make it taste like sushi. And they actually nailed it there and the rice was really good. So I was very, very impressed by that. Their dessert selection was actually very impressive as well. They had a lot of options. Um, a lot of them was mochi though and ice cream, but still very good. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a really fun experience. It, it's not like the best sushi like I've ever had, but it was still very good quality. And I think just the experience of it, it was a fun time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed our dinner at Kura Revolving Sushi Bar. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Have you guys tried a conveyor belt sushi spot before? Uh, if you have, I would love to know your experience. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on the subscribe button right Right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!